All right, guys, real slow, miserable day, uh, closing up at the shop. Um, trying to come to terms with how I'm going to set all this stuff up, and uh, and I'm getting an idea. I'm getting an idea. Um, I think I'm going to move a bunch of junk out of here. When I say junk, I mean car parts. I don't mean the machines. So what happened today was just when I thought I wouldn't buy another machine, Something popped up on eBay, and I couldn't help myself. So, I've always wanted one of these, and bam, there it is, CNC. Now, I know even less about this than I do that stuff. So, I just, you know, look at this thing. It's a monster. I mean, I'm going to just straight up tell you. I won this for a thousand bucks and I might resell it. And yes, I want five grand. If I do, it's America. I can make that money. I'm allowed, but these things are hit or miss. They get antiquated real fast. And, um, you know, he said all the right stuff. He seemed to be real honest, great guy. And, um, he's an original owner of the machine. So what happens is I go on eBay and Craigslist all the time, as we all know, and I keep refreshing and looking at the latest advertised products I'm interested in, such as Closing, Atlas, South Bend, Bridgeport, all the good stuff. So anyway, lo and behold, five minutes before I saw it, it went up. And he said, look, I got to get rid of this thing. I need a thousand bucks, fast money, no BS, no headache. It did have a best offer, but I decided that I'm not going to be a pig guy selling me a machine like this for a thousand bucks I'm gonna give him a thousand bucks not to mention it came with a bunch of tooling now my head guy here my head tech knows a lot more about this stuff than I do and he has a handle on it I think he has a little one at his house and his little bench top but um, him and I are venturing into this thing if anybody out there has any knowledge or suggestions regarding the software the d30 whatever the hell let me see, D32, D30, DX32, I'm sorry. If anybody here can give me some input as to um, the upgrade and if it's cost effective to do so, I'd like to hear about it. Because I'm assuming, you know, what I understand is these machines always have problems with the electronics. I don't know. I don't know the deal. I, again, I'm just getting into this. So we're going to get it up and running. That's the first thing. First, we've got to clean it. Although it's, it's really, really, let me fix the battery. I know you love the hat. It's uh, really cold out right now. I love this hat. Um, anyway, I had to charge the battery. So, look, here's the deal. Bridgeport V2 XT, clean as hell. I mean, check this out. You want to see something? Look at the ways. This is what boggled my mind. Look how clean those chrome ways are. Would you look at that? I've never seen ways that clean on a machine that wasn't redone. Um, and they weren't redone. This guy's honest. I know he is. I trust him. I could tell. So look, I paid a grand for this thing, and I know I can't lose out even if it doesn't work because I could easily get my money back. So I'm fine with that. I just want to know, does it pay to put another twenty-five dollars or $3,500 into it to make it a good machine? And your question might be, well, what are you going to do with it? Come on, what do I do with any of them? I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm not there. I'll get there, but I want to use it. Um, also, I might sell this one if anybody's interested. $3,500 with two, not one, but two servo power feeds. After I have it running right and it's in good shape, I'm going to put it up for $3,500. Uh, but then again, I really like this machine, so I don't know. I think I might just keep that too if I could squeeze any more in. So, look, I got to go. You got to go. If you have any information for me, lay it on me. Do I upgrade? Do I get it working first and see how the software goes? Or do I just bail? Have a good one.